So welcome everyone. My name is Sebastiano Bernuzzi from the University of Vienna. And in this talk, I will report about the scientific result obtained by, by our computational relativity collaboration using high performance computing resources at, um, at LRZ. Our project focuses on the simulation of binary neutron star mergers in three plus one numerical general relativity. It was approved with uh, 82 million core hours in, 2000, uh, in 2018 and obtain an extension later, which has just uh, terminated. The work involved about 10 people at Jena, plus co collaborators in uh, Europe, uh, USA, and, and Brazil. This high-performance computing resource has essentially supported entirely our scientific effort of the last years. And uh, so far, they led to 12 publications and supported five PhD projects, uh, four of which are still ongoing. So the broad scientific goal of the project is the development of first principle theoretical models for the gravitational and electromagnetic radiation, which are emitted during the merger and coalescence process. The primary application of this model is the interpretation of the first merger observation that happened in August, uh, 2017 and goes under the name of GW170817. Uh, this gravitational wave detection by LIGO and Virgo was followed by the detection of electromagnetic counterparts over the entire electromagnetic spectrum. And so this is an enormous amount of information from a single astrophysical event uh, that require that requires sophisticated theoretical framework to be to be understood. Of course, the data and the knowledge that is produced with the project will also help to prepare a future observation of, uh, of this type. So simulating the merger process is a rather challenging theoretical problem. Uh, together with general relativity, one must include uh, matter processes from all the four, the, the four fundamental interactions. Moreover, these are simulations that are genuinely four-dimensional, three-dimension plus time, and must resolve different spatial scales from the interior of the star to the far away radiation zone when, where radiation is measured. And they also must resolve different uh, time scale along, uh, along the, the coalescence process. So the project tackled four outstanding issues for uh, binary neutron star merger modeling. Uh, that uh, are these four sub-project sub P1 to P4. And essentially they regard the, comp the computation of high accuracy gravitational waveforms, uh, the investigation of the possible merger remnants and the related uh, observational signature, and the computation of the mass outflow or the ejecta that are responsible for some of the electromagnetic counterpart, in particular, uh, the kilonova transient. The, the project employed two state-of-the-art numerical, relati uh, numerical relativity codes for binary simulation. Those are developed in house and within the core collaborations. They have similar features. They are both based on Cartesian meshes and, implemented, and implement dedicated uh, moving boxes, adaptive mesh refinement that uh, allows us to follow the binary dynamics. And they both solve the um, Z4C formulations for, uh, for Einstein equation. However, the BAM code is optimized for gravitational wave computation and implements uh, procedures to generate low eccentricity initial data to simulate uh, circular orbit, quasi-circular orbit uh, in spirals. Whereas the THC code includes a more sophisticated description of matter fields with microphysical equation of state, neutrino transport, and a general relativistic large eddy schemes uh, that simulates magnetohydrodynamic induced air turbulence. So the second code is used, um, is more accurate and is used to study uh, merger remnants. Uh, we made and we still make, uh, continuously make significant efforts to public release our fun, uh, final simulation product. At Jena, we host the GitLab server that uh, hosts the largest public database of binary neutron star waveform. This is available to the community since 2018, and it is and will be significantly extended with the data from, from this project. Um, we also initiated a Zenodo community that distributes uh, simulation profiles um, that are ready to use for uh, further astrophysical analysis. So in the remaining time of the talk, I want to give some scientific highlights on each of the four sub-projects. In some project P1, we simulated multi-orbit in spirals and merger uh, 
binary neutron star binary neutron stars at multiple resolution. So this is, is crucial to predict, uh, to produce a detailed error budget for, for the waveforms. Uh, moreover, we are currently the only group that can simulate uh, a binary to star merger with uh, spin precession effects, and this is what uh, we have also done. So overall, these, high, high, these are high accuracy data uh, that are absolutely necessary to develop uh, waveform models for gravitational wave astronomy. <coughs> for example, it is well known that uh, uh, gravitational wave detection can inform us on the unknown or yet unknown equation of state of neutron stars. However, gravitational wave inference of the equation of state depends sensitively on the waveform template that are employed in this analysis. And the simulation are actually the only means to assess the systematic effects in these templates. So we have also directly employed a simulation output to design uh, the first complete model of the gravitational wave spectrum. So this model applies to the entire frequency band that is observable uh, by ground-based interferometers. And notably, it describes the emission from all the different dynamical phases of the coalescence. So the early quasi-circular in spiral to the um, emission from the merger remnant. In subproject P2, we simulated the largest mass ratio to date with microphysics and studied black hole formation that in this case is due to the accretion of the, of, on the, of the is due to the tidal disruption and the accretion of the secondary star into the primary. So these mergers are interesting because uh, this tidal disruption event generates a massive neutron rich dynamical ejecta and also a massive disk that forms even prior to merger. And we predict that the system might be associated with uh, um, electromagnetic transient that are very different and very peculiar from, 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 from those of the equal mass um, prompt collapse merger. And in particular, in the future, there might be a possibility to uh, detect what we have predicted, that is a red and temporally extended kilonova that could inform us precisely on the, on the binary mass ratio. Moreover, using the simulation data, we have developed Bayesian, a Bayesian method to infer prompt black hole formation from the observed gravitational wave data. So with this method, we have analyzed GW170817 data, and uh, it uh, the, the analysis actually support other astrophysical argument about the uh, um, prediction of the, of the of the merger remnant in that source, uh, but in this case with the, with the rigorous statistical method. And we have also applied this method to the second binary neutron star event detected by LIGO and Virgo, in this case as a, as a, as a member of the Virgo collaboration. And some of us were involved in the analysis and in the writing team of the discovery paper. <coughs> so for the realization of the pre three and P4 subproject, we have simulated a large number of binaries compatible with uh, GW170817. Uh, these runs include microphysics and explore in 3D the longest post-merger time scale that have been simulated with an initial approach, so starting from the actual orbital dynamics. Uh, we have investigated in detail the thermodynamical condition and the impact of weak interaction in the extreme matter of the, uh, of the merger remnant. And we have found that uh, simulating neutrino absorption is critical for quantitative, quantitative and accurate description of the ejecta. So this should be included in all the future simulation. And there's a big challenge for the future. So this uh, binary neutron star merger ejecta are believed to be one of the primary sites for heavy element nucleosynthesis in the universe. So all our run have been processed, post-processed, uh, with the nuclear network to compute prediction for uh, the abundances of our process elements. Their process elements in the ejecta is very robust and the abundances are weak dependent on the particular equation of state model employed to describe the neutron star matter in the simulations. However, we found that the mass ratio strongly influence the electron fraction of the, of the material and so can impact the production of the first peak elements. Also, we computed the first end-to-end -end simulation of the kilonova spectra observed in August uh, 2017. And we have done this by combining the numerical relativity output with the nuclear network and then to a radiative transfer uh, spectral code. And interestingly, this analysis reproduced the uh, 810 nanometer feature um, 
that is that is interpreted as a transition of the of strontium element uh, in this in this work by Watson et al. 2000, 2019. So here we have reproduced everything um, from first principle in some sense. <coughs> so our simulation identify a new ejecta component. This is a massive wind. Uh, that is produced by the interaction between the central remnant and the outer layers of the critting material. This plot shows precisely the angular momentum transport from the remnant neutron star outwards. And this ejecta component can be important to interpret the early kilon of emission observed after GW170817, since this material partially, is partially reprocessed by the hydrodynamical shocks in these expanding arms. And in fact, Including this ejecta component, the modeling helps relaxing uh, an existing tension between the observation and theoretical prediction. So, where all this work indicated that a multi component Kilonova model, so model that use uh, um, the multiple ejecta component um, uh, expelled the, from the merger process. Um, and including the disquints are absolutely necessary to in interpret uh, this, uh, this 2017 observation. I noted that this particular mechanism of the spiral well wind uh, could be identified only with long term and ab initio simulation. So, more recently, uh, a ray X, a X ray excess of the source of uh, uh, 1708, uh, GW 170817 was suggested by some. Chandra uh, telescope observation. Uh, we have participated to this analysis with our simulation data. Uh, and we found that uh, this rebrightening could be compatible with the kilonova afterglow, uh, which is caused by the, was expected to be caused by the synchrotron emission from the um, high speed uh, component of the dynamical ejecta. So this scenario is very exciting. If confirmed, this will be the first confirmation of this of this uh, of this uh, phenomenon. Uh, and of course, we are waiting for future observation to um, to further confirm or disprove this discovery. So finally, parallel to this project, uh, we continue our effort towards the development of. Uh, highly scalable codes for numerical relativity. Uh, we have completed the first step towards our next production code, uh, which, is, which is based on the public Athena++ code base. Uh, we have extended this code, code base with a vertex center OC3 AMR, and of course, with the, including the um, a solver for uh, um, general relativity. And we have performed uh, a full production binary black hole simulations with waveform calculations. <clears throat> so scaling tests on SuperMOOC show excellent scaling beyond 10 to the four cores in full binary black hole in a full binary black hole production run. And so we are moving quickly to this code also for our binary neutron star simulation. The scaling capability will boost our uh, simulation capability and a possibility of confronting with the challenging ahead in simulating uh, binary neutron star mergers. So in conclusion, this project was uh, certainly one of the major simulation efforts in the field uh, in recent year. The analysis and the release of the data is still ongoing. So we expect that uh, the project will continue to impact the field of gravitational wave and multi-messenger multi astronomy also in the next year. And of course, all of this would not have been possible without the resources um, provided by, by LRZ. So we are very grateful to the center and, and its staff for this. And I thank you very much.